Here's the most important thing you need to know about modeling wheels in Blender. When you're modeling wheels, you just have to make one section of the wheel and then you can duplicate that section and copy it in a circle. So here's how you make a section. You need to add a circle and the circle is gonna have to have something like eight vertices. The reason we're using eight vertices is because this particular wheel has eight copies of the same section. So we're gonna use this circle, we're gonna turn it to the side and we're going to extrude it into something more like a plate. And now we're going to select one face. We're gonna press Control I to inverse the selection and we're going to delete all the other faces except this one face. And we're gonna use this one face to model one section which we're then going to copy into the rest of the wheel. Now we're gonna to have to subdivide this section a couple of times because we need some more geometry. The more you subdivide it, the more polygons you're gonna get, but your wheel is gonna be more detailed so it's gonna look better. And now we have to select an area on the wheel so we can select one face and then control shift and right click on another face and we're gonna select everything in between those two faces. So now we can just inset this surface and I'm going to select all the corners on this surface and we're going to use our loop tools to relax these corners. Now you just have to inset that shit to make the hole we have the screw holding the wheel onto the tank. And if you subdivide this, it's gonna start looking a lot better. And now you can add some more details, like maybe some screws or something to make it look a little bit better. Now here's where the magic happens. We have to go to front view and we have to place our 3D cursor exactly in the middle of the wheel. We can do that by selecting a vertex in the middle. You can press Shift S and do cursor to select it. Now select the section of the wheel that you want to copy. Select everything, then press Alt E and this is gonna allow you to use a spin tool. Now you have to set the number of steps to the same number that we set for the number of vertices in the circle in the beginning. So in this case, we're gonna use eight steps. Also check Use Duplicates and you're now going to turn this one section into a perfect circle. And then you can also do the same thing with the screws if they're a separate object or whatever other detail you have in this case. And that's how you make perfect wheels in Blender. Let me know what you wanna see next. I'll see you guys in the next one.